Hey guys, welcome to a short little video on how you can group uh, objects within a pivot table report. So it's only very simply, we've got a, a simple little list here with six columns, personnel, age, state, date, business unit, and cost. Now, for example, um, if we were to take the, let's say, the business unit field and drop this into the columns area, and we were then to take the cost field and drop that into the values area, we'll get a basically a sum of cost for each business unit. However, if we were to take the date field and drop this into the rows area, you'll notice what we now end up with is a daily breakdown for each business unit by cost. So what you can actually do with uh, pivot tables uh, in, in Excel is quite simple. If you were to right click one of these row label date fields and simply choosing the option of group, notice how you have the ability to group by certain units. So for example, seconds, minutes, hours, days, months, quarters, or years. So if we start off by just by simply choosing months and clicking OK, you'll notice how we get basically monthly totals for each business unit. Um, right clicking in one of these months and choosing group yet again, we'll extend this a bit further and we'll choose months in both years and hitting OK. You notice how you now have yearly by monthly totals across business units. Let's take it. Uh, let's let's take and give you a few more examples here. If we were to right click in one of these dates and to choose ungroup, we're back to the individual daily groupings yet again. Right clicking once more, choosing group yet again. Uh, in this example, let's choose the option of years and quarters, and then clicking OK. You know, saying we have quarterly by yearly or yearly by quarterly breakdowns. Um, right clicking and ungrouping yet again, right clicking and then grouping yet again, just some variations here. If we were to choose say days, um, and we would increase the day into integer to let's say 14, what you would now end up with is basically a fortnightly analysis of the cost across each business unit. So first little example done, uh, we would like to show you another little example in just a moment. So in this next example, same basic information, what we're going to look to do is we're going to take uh, the personnel field and we will drag and drop this into the rows area, which lists each individual person. Now if we were to take this personnel field and move it over into the values area, it will give us a total count of personnel. Now taking the state field and moving this over to the columns area, we get a count of people within each state. Moving state over to the rows area, We'll get a listing, the same basic listing, but just presented in a vertical format. Now, what we would do here is we're going to take the age field, which is a numeric column, and we're going to drop this into the columns area. Now, what this does is it basically lists every single individual age listed with, or in unique age, listed within uh, column B. Now, what we're going to look to do here is if we right mouse click on one of those column label values and choose group, just like we did with dates, Notice that you get different grouping options for numbers as you do for dates. So starting at the age of 15 and ending at perhaps an age of 85 and looking to group them in increments of 10 and clicking OK, you'll notice how what you've now done is you've grouped those ages in ranges of 10. Now what we could do is we could tidy this up a little bit and go age group as the column label entry over here and of course we can do things to make this look a little bit more presentable so we could just drag the columns out and even it out a bit right along that data and all sorts of things like that. Now uh, if we were to for in this example drop out or take out the counter personnel and we would perhaps take into count the cost field and drop that into values what you'll end up, end up with is a sum of cost for each age group across each state. So guys, a very short little video. Um, it's not quite the same as the grouping option that you have when you can select fields, right click and group. That is a little bit different. Um, and that would perhaps subject for another video later down the track. Okay, thanks now guys. There's a lot more to pivot tables than what's being shown here, of course, all covered in our advanced courses. Um, but yeah, thanks for listening and uh, hope to hear from you and see you again in the future. Cheers for now.